Okay, good morning, students. Uh, welcome to today's lecture. Okay, so from today, we are going to start unit number three, that is kinematics of fluid flow. Okay, so quickly we will discuss the syllabus of uh, fluid kinematics. So fluid kinematics is one of the most uh, sm uh, simple and small unit. Only mathematical uh, unit is this. Okay, this way, uh, in this unit, basically all the definitions which you are going to learn. 70% part is mathematics part, okay? But it is one of the most sim uh, simplest unit. Now, uh, first of all, we will see the definition of fluid kinematics. <coughs> kinematics. So already in unit number one, we have seen the fluid mechanics. It is a branch of engineering which deals with the study of fluid at rest or in motion with and without considering the forces, okay? And we have seen uh, this branch of uh, fluid mechanics is div further divided into three branches, that is fluid statics, that is the study of fluid at rest, which we had covered in unit number two. Then, uh, fluid kinematics. Fluid kinematics is nothing but it is a uh, branch of fluid me mechanics which deals with the fluid in motion. Okay? But here, the forces are not considered. Okay? And the study of fluid in motion with consi uh, considering the forces, that is called as fluid dynamics, which will be our unit number four. Okay? So in fluid uh, kinematics, we are going to consider the fluid in motion, but here forces are not considered. So basically here, we are going to talk about the different properties, uh, that is uh, velocity acceleration, velocity potential, and so on. Okay. So in fluid kinematics, properties such as velocity acceleration are studied for the fluid in motion. Now, first of all, we will see uh, when the fluid is in motion, what are the different approaches or different methods of analyzing the fluid flow. Okay. So first method is called as Langerian method, and second method is called as Eulerian method. In Langerian method, basically a single fluid particle is taken into consideration. For example, uh, uh, consider your class. Okay, your class uh, has a strength of 44 students, and suppose uh, one external is coming uh, from uh, other college, and he is asking to Rishabh, what is his result? Okay. And he he thinks that I am having two bags, okay. So and he he is assuming all the second year B divisions have two paper bags, okay. Or suppose he is saying I am distinction. So the external is assuming all the students of uh, second year B division they are distinction. So basically, what here we are doing, we are considering a single student, and we are assuming whatever the performance of single student that is the performance of entire class, okay. That happens in Langerian method. So in Langerian method, a single fluid particle is taken into consideration. Okay. So in this case, whenever the fluid flow is taking place, okay, we will consider any fluid particle or a very small volume of mass. Okay, and we are going to calculate the different properties such as velocity, density, acceleration for this small portion or for this fluid particle, and we are going to assume. Whatever the velocity of this fluid particle, it is the entire velocity of flow. Whatever the acceleration of this fluid particle, it is the entire acceleration of flow. Okay? So this method is called as Langerian method. And Langerian method is not a correct method. So it is not used. Okay? Then, second method is Eulerian method. So in Eulerian method, what will happen? Sorry. Uh, in Eulerian method, what will happen? A single uh, point in space. Okay? A single point in space, suppose this is a point in space, okay, it is considered, okay, a number of fluid particles, they are entering and leaving this space, okay, in a given time t, whatever the study is made for a given time t, and a space is assumed, and in this space, number of fluid particles are coming and uh, leaving, okay, so the study is made on all these fluid particles. And then their average velocity is calculated, every uh, average density is calculated, every uh, acceleration is calculated, okay, for all the split particles. And then it is said that this is the entire property of fluid flow, okay. So here we are not considering a single fluid particle, we are considering the number of fluid particles which are entering and leaving, okay. So this space, which is considered for study, it is called as control space or control volume, okay. So here during the fluid flow, a control volume is selected. In this control volume, number of fluid particles are entering and leaving. Okay. Then uh, the study is made on all these fluid particles and then their average value is calculated. And then it is said that this is the uh, velocity of entire fluid flow. Okay. This is 
is the density of entire fluid flow. This is the acceleration of entire fluid flow. Okay, so such method is called as Eulerian method. Okay, so as Eulerian method gives more accurate results, so it is widely adopted method. Okay, so all the analysis of fluid flow that is done on uh, on the basis of Eulerian method. Okay, Langerian method was old method, but it is not accurate method. So no, it is not used nowadays. Nowadays, all the approaches are made on Eulerian method. So is this clear difference between Langerian method and Eulerian method? So difference is in Langerian method, a small uh, a single fluid particle is taken into consideration. In Langerian method, a point in space, which is called as control space or control volume, is taken into consideration. Okay, so this is the basic difference. Then uh, we are going to see the type of fluid flow. The first type of fluid flow which we are going to see, uh, or the first differentiation, or uh, first classification which we are going to see, that is steady and unsteady flow. Okay. So if the various properties of the fluid, such as velocity, density, pressure, etc., okay, they are uh, not changing with respect to time. Okay. That means suppose at 10 m, suppose fluid flow is taking place. Okay. And at section one, at 10 m, velocity is velocity is suppose uh, one meter per second. Okay, so at time t equals to 10 m five minutes, again velocity is one meter per second. At 10 m ten minutes, it is one uh, meter per second. That, that means with respect to time, the velocity is not changing. Okay, in x y z direction. Similarly, pressure is not changing in x y z direction with respect to time. Similarly, density is not changing in all the x, y, z direction with respect to time and so on. Okay, so if any of the property, such as velocity, pressure, density, acceleration, etc., does not change with respect to time, so the type of flow is called as steady flow. Okay, so remember in steady flow, velocity is not changing or, or any property is not changing with respect to time. Therefore, their differentiation with respect to time it will be zero. So del V by del T, it is zero because it is constant, not changing. Del P by del T, it will be zero. Why? Because pressure is not changing. Pressure is constant with respect to time. Similarly, del rho by del T, that equals to zero. Del uh, A by del T, that equals to zero and so on. Okay. Then next is unsteady flow. Okay. So in unsteady flow, if any one of the properties, okay, it may happen that pressure and density is not changing, but velocity may change. Okay, or velocity pressure not changing, but density may change. Okay, so if any of the property, any one of the property during the fluid flow, it is changing with respect to time. Okay, that means uh, velocity is one meter per second at 10 a.m. It it will become 1.5 meter per second at 10 a.m. five minutes. It may become 0 0.5 meter per second at 10 a.m. ten minutes. Okay. So it is changing with respect to time. So such type of flow is called as unsteady fluid flow. Okay, or simply unsteady flow. So what is the difference in steady flow? The properties are not changing with respect to time. So remember here in the definition, time is a criteria. Okay, and in uh, unsteady flow, the uh, properties are changing with respect to time. That is, it is changing with respect to time. Therefore, their differentiation with respect to time. Del V by del T. That is not equals to zero because this is not constant. Similarly, del P by del T, okay, change in pressure with respect to time. As pressure is changing, so pressure is not constant, so it is not equal to zero and so on. Okay, so this is the first classification of fluid flow. So here, time is taken as criteria. Then second is uniform and non-uniform flow. Okay, so uniform flow here, space. Okay, space. That means. Uh, whatever the location, okay, or whatever the coordinate x, y, z, okay, so they are considered as criteria for uniform and non-uniform flow. Okay, steady and unsteady flow के लिए criteria क्या था? Time था. Uniform and non-uniform के लिए space or location. Okay, so uniform flow is simply defined as the type of flow in which the velocity at any given instant of time does not change with respect to space. Okay, that means Suppose this is a fluid flow, or suppose this is a section of pipe. If you take the cross section, so this cross section will be circular. Okay. So if velocity is constant at the center, 
at the center suppose it is 1 meter per second at radius 1 cm it is uh, same 1 meter per second at suppose uh, uh, radius of 5 cm it is 1 meter per second on the pipe surface again it is 1 meter per second okay that means if you draw the velocity distribution so velocity distribution is a constant line okay velocity distribution kaisa rahega it will be constant it will be a rectangle where the value of velocity is equal at all point okay so such type of flow is called as uniform flow what is happening in uniform flow at different location at any cross section the velocity is always constant or it is not changing okay at any given instant of time okay it may change with time aisa ho sakta hai ki 10 am ko velocity 1 meter per second ho okay but ye 10 am ko 1 meter per second it will be constant at all points okay abhi 10 am 5 minute pe it will become 1.5 meter per second so it is changing with respect to time but for a given time at all points the velocity is constant दस बज के पांच मिनट पे अपने क्रॉस सेक्शन के सारे पॉइंट देखे तो उस पर वेलोसिटी कितना रहेगा 1.5 मीटर देन टेन बजकर टेन एम को सारे पॉइंट्स पे आपने देखा तो वेलोसिटी चेंज हो जाएगा 0.5 हो जाएगा बट हर पॉइंट पे वेलोसिटी क्या रहेगा 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव रहेगा ओके सो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू स्पेस और विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लोकेशन इट इज नॉट चेंजिंग ओके फॉर गिवन इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम तो सच टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज यूनिफॉर्म फ्लो ओके सो बेसिकली हियर वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन एक्स वाई एंड जेड डायरेक्शन The velocity is not changing. Okay, therefore, del v s, uh, del v by del s, here s represents the space. Okay, for given constant or uh, given time, that is constant. Uh, that equals to zero because it is constant. Okay, the del v is changing velocity. Del s is changing flow length. Okay, that means del v by del x in x direction. Okay, that equals to zero. Similarly, del v. By del y, okay, in y direction, that equals to zero. And similarly, del v by del z in z direction. Okay, v is constant in z direction, so that equals to zero. Okay. So in this way, we can mathematically represent the uniform flow. Okay. The non-uniform flow, vice versa, is the definition. If any, uh, if any, uh, if in any flow. the velocity at any given instant of time changes from point to point okay that means at the center the velocity is 1 meter per second at 1 uh, cm it may change okay that means suppose this is a pipe flow and suppose this is a velocity distribution okay so velocity is zero on the pipe surface okay velocity is maximum at the center u max or v max okay and at a uh, 1 cm its value is different suppose at center it is uh, 1 meter per second at uh, radius 1 cm is 0.8 at radius 5 cm it is 0.5 meter per second and on the pipe surface it is zero so it is continuously changing in radial direction okay so such type of flow uh, it will be called as non uniform flow okay so in non uniform flow the velocity is changing with respect to space or with respect to location therefore here del v by del s that that is not equal to zero okay or del v by del x is not equal to zero del v by del y is not equal to zero del v by del z is not equal to zero for a given instant of time okay so that the third classification is yeah based on these two classification uniform flow non uniform flow steady flow and unsteady flow okay the uh, fluid are for, for the uh, sub classified into four types okay that is steady uniform flow so steady uniform flow me kya hoga the uh, the velocity is not changing with respect to time and it is not changing with respect to space okay so if velocity is constant with respect to time and space then it is called as steady uniform flow okay then steady uh, un non uniform flow so in steady non uniform flow the velocity is not changing with respect to time but may it may change with respect to space okay then third case is unsteady uniform flow so in unsteady uniform flow the velocity is not uh, is changing with respect to time but is not changing with respect to space okay and fourth is 
unsteady ununiform flow so in unsteady in ununiform flow the velocity is changing with respect to both time and space okay this is a further sub classification then the next classification of fluid flow is laminar and turbulent flow okay so laminar flow uh, if suppose some conditions are satisfied for example if viscosity of the fluid is very high for example honey okay honey glycerin or anything high viscosity fluid then velocity of the flow is very low okay suppose it is 0.1 or 0.2 meter per second and characteristic dimension okay that means uh, the space within which flow is taking place for example capillary tube ho gaya okay ya fir body ke vents ho gaye body ke vents aapne dekhe kitne chote rehte hain 1 mm aur usse bhi chote hote hain okay so if viscosity of fluid is very high velocity is very low and characteristic dimension okay they are also very small okay so in such uh, type of flow what happens you can divide the entire fluid flow into number of sheets okay jitna bhi entire fluid flow hai you can divide it into number of sheets <coughs> sorry you can divide the entire fluid flow into number of sheets okay and what happens in each sheet all the fluid particle they are traveling uh, in their own path okay har fluid uh, layer mein jo bhi fluid particle hai wo ek systematic tarike se flow hote hain okay and they are not crossing the layer or ek layer ka fluid jo hota hai wo dusre layer mein enter nahi karta hai okay so you can say the uh, fluid flow uh, or the particle moves in laminas or layers okay and this laminas or layers they are not crossing each other so basically they are gliding over each other okay so aap bol sakte ho ki har ya har lamina ka aur ya har layer ka velocity different ho sakta hai okay suppose bottom ka jo uh, surface hai wo stationary hai तो जो लेयर रहेंगे इन कांटेक्ट विद लोअर सरफेस उसका वेलोसिटी जीरो रहेगा सपोज अपर लेयर कांटेक्ट विद मूविंग प्लेट विद वेलोसिटी यू तो ये लेयर का वेलोसिटी भी यू रहेगा ओके इन बिटवीन देन द वेलोसिटी लेयर बाय लेयर इज कंटिन्यूसली चेंजिंग बट एक लेयर के अंदर जितने भी फ्लूड पार्टिकल है उनका सारा uh, सारे फ्लूड पार्टिकल का वेलोसिटी कॉन्स्टेंट रहता है ओके सो यू कैन से This layers are gliding over each other. Her layer का velocity different है, so ये एक दूसरे के ऊपर fissures हैं. They are gliding over each other. Okay. Such type of systematic flow is called as laminar flow. Okay. So laminar flow is simply defined as a type of flow in which the fluid particle moves in a well defined path. Okay. Or uh, this well defined path is called as streamline. आगे हम definition देखेंगे. And all streamlines are straight and parallel. Streamlines क्या होते हैं हम आगे देखेंगे. Okay. So laminar flow all the stream lines are parallel to each other okay that means inside the uh, uh, laminar or layer all the fluid particles are traveling in a straight path and they are not crossing each other okay so thus we can say the fluid particles are moving in laminar or sheets which are gliding over each other okay so this type of flow is called as laminar flow or streamline flow or viscous flow okay yeah, basically this condition is achieved whenever viscosity of the fluid is high okay such type of flow is also called as viscous flow okay so this is a simple definition of laminar flow vice versa is turbulent flow so in turbulent flow the turbulent flow is a type of flow in which if the viscosity of the fluid consider the condition where viscosity of the fluid is low for example water air and so on okay and velocity of the fluid flow is very high okay as well as dimension or characteristic space or characteristic length between the uh, uh, surface to surfaces where flow is taking place it is also very high so in that case all the fluid particles will have random motion during the fluid flow okay har fluid particle ka ek khud ka different direction hoga har fluid particle is behaving in an unsystematic manner okay uh, they are continuously uh, Uh, moving here and there and during the uh, motion they are gliding with uh, they are colliding with each other okay so yahan pe collision bhi hota hai kuch fluid particles jo hote hain wo uh, eddies form karte hain cross current form form karte hain okay and the flow is a unsystematic flow so such type of flow is called as turbulent flow so turbulent flow is a type of flow in which the fluid particle may move in zigzag way due to movement of fluid particle in zigzag the eddies or cross current 
it may form okay and here high loss of energy takes place okay so such type of flow is called as turbulent flow so turbulent flow is a unsystematic type of flow okay so example of uh, turbulent flow is flow of river okay flow of river or flow of water in river okay or flow of air in our environment that is also a turbulent flow okay or uh, flow of air over fan after fan hota fan se jo air aati hai that is a turbulent flow example of laminar flow okay ye rahega tha laminar flow ke example hote hai flow of blood in veins okay human body mein jo veins hote hai usme jo flow hota hai that is laminar flow okay then rise of uh, water or uh, rise of liquid in trees or like rise of sap in trees okay ट्री में आपने देखा होगा एक विस्कस लिक्विड होता है ओके आप ट्री को कट करते हो तो आपको एक लिक्विड दिखता है ओके वो पेल येलो कलर का या फिर व्हाइट कलर का लिक्विड होता है कलरलेस लिक्विड होता है सो दैट इज सैप ओके जो ट्रीज में जो फ्लो होता है सैप का दैट इज अ लैमिनर फ्लो ओके ऑल दीज आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लैमिनर एंड टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ना देर इज वन डायमेंशन लेस नंबर विच इज गिवन बाय रेनॉल्ड अभी ये हम डिटेल में फोर्थ मिनट में डिस्कस करेंगे रेनोल्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट यहाँ पे आपको सिर्फ डेफिनेशन याद रखना है सो देर इज वन डायमेंशन लेस नंबर गिवन बाय रेनोल्ड ओके सो दैट नंबर इज कॉल्ड एज रेनोल्ड नंबर सो रेनोल्ड नंबर इज सिंपली डिफाइंड एज द रेशो ऑफ इनर्शिया फोर्स ओके रेशो ऑफ इनर्शिया फोर्स टू विस्कस फोर्स ओके सो इट इज द रेशो ऑफ इनर्शिया फोर्स टू विस्कस फोर्स एंड मैथमेटिकली इट इज गिवन बाय रो to be uh, for the case of flow through pipe actually it is rho v l upon mu okay here mu is characteristic length and for the case of flow through pipe the characteristic length is diameter okay so here for flow through pipe it is rho v d upon mu or we can write this as v d v into d divided by the rho ko hum denominator ko divide kar denge so it is mu by rho okay So the ratio of mu, that is absolute viscosity to rho mass density, it is called as kinematic viscosity. Okay, denoted by mu. So it is Vd by mu. Okay. So this uh, dimensionless uh, number, called as a null number, given by Vd by mu or rho Vd by mu, it helps us in determining whether the flow is laminar or turbulent. Okay. So if the null number is less than two thousand, the flow is called as laminar flow. ओके okay? आपको क्या करना है कोई भी एक्सपेरिमेंट में उसका वेलोसिटी आपको पता होना चाहिए जब भी फ्लो थ्रू पाइप हो रहा है उस केस में आपको उसका वेलोसिटी पता होना चाहिए ओके मीन वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड फ्लो जिस पाइप में फ्लो हो रहा है उसका डायमीटर आपको पता होना चाहिए यू शुड नो द डायमीटर ओके एंड यू शुड नो द काइनेमेटिक विस्कोसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड ओके जो फ्लूड दे रहे हैं उसका काइनेमेटिक विस्कोसिटी स्टैंडर्ड होता है ओके okay? आप वो नेट पैसे देख सकते हो सो इफ यू पुट ऑल दिस वैल्यू वी डी अपॉन न्यू सो यू विल गेट वन डायमेंशन बेस number that is renold number so if the value of renold number is suppose 1500 or 1800 that is less than 2000 so you can say whatever the flow which is take, taking place to the pipe right? so that flow is laminar flow so remember whenever renold number is less than 2000 the flow is laminar flow okay similarly for the fluid flow if you calculate the velocity you measure the diameter and you put the value of kinematic viscosity and you know you get the value of renold number more than 4000 that type of flow it will be called as turbulent flow okay so whenever the null number is greater than 4000 it is turbulent flow whenever it is less than 2000 it is laminar flow okay and if the value of renold number is more than 4000 uh, but less than 4000 okay so if it is in between 2000 and 4000 the flow can be laminar or flow can be turbulent okay and during this phase the flow is transiting from laminar to turbulent phase okay so ye ye phase mein kabhi aapko laminar flow dikhta hai kabhi turbulent flow dikhta hai ya fir unstable flow dikhta hai so that flow is nothing but transition flow okay so remember when uh, for the case of flow through pipe renold number less than 2000 flow is laminar renold number more than 4000 flow is turbulent okay and renold number in between 2000 to 4000 the flow can be laminar the flow can be turbulent or you will say the flow is transition flow okay after that next is uh, compressibility okay or uh, based on the compressibility the fluid flow is compressible and incompressible flow okay so if during the flow okay suppose uh, 
uh, consider the case uh, of varying cross section area. Okay, there is a case of varying cross section area flow is taking place. Okay, and water is flowing in case one. Water is flowing in case one. So basically, what happens uh, whenever the water is flowing? Okay, so uh, due to this sudden change in cross section, the volume of the water is not changing. Volume of the water is always constant. Okay, while or you can take the case of piston cylinder arrangement. Piston cylinder arrangement. Okay, and fill here water. Okay. यहाँ पे आप वाटर फिल करो एंड अप्लाई द फोर्स आप फोर्स अप्लाई करोगे सो यू विल ऑब्जर्व दूम ऑफ वाटर विल नॉट चेंज आप जितना ज्यादा फोर्स अप्लाई करोगे यहाँ पे एकदम स्मॉल मोशन होगा ओके okay? और ये वाटर का प्रेशर कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीज होगा और आपने ज्यादा फोर्स अप्लाई की तो बेसिकली यहाँ पे सिलेंडर बस्ट हो जाएगा ओके दिस इज अ केस विथ लिक्विड ओके और वाटर While vice versa, do the same experiment. Take a piston cylinder arrangement, okay, and apply the force. And here fill the gas. You will observe. Up just as the force apply करोगे आपको piston का movement होगा यहाँ पे pressure increase होगा and volume reduce होगा, okay. So the type of flow in which the volume, okay, the volume and we know mass upon volume, mass upon volume is nothing but density, okay. Now remember, mass is always constant. Okay, so if volume changes, if your volume increases or decreases, or right, so basically, if your density increases or decreases, yeah. Okay, so if during the fluid flow, if during the fluid flow, the volume and hence the density of the fluid changes from point to point. Okay, that means the density is not constant. Okay, so such type of flow is called as compressible flow. So compressible flow is the type of flow in which The volume and hence the density of the fluid it may change due to change in cross section area or anything, okay, or due to application of some external force, whatever the reason. If the volume and hence the density is changing, okay, during the flow, so such type of flow is called as compressible fluid flow, okay. And remember, example of compressible flow are all gases flow. All gases flow are compressible in nature, okay. Therefore, for compressible flow, density is not constant. therefore whatever uh, the change in velocity okay uh, or you can say uh, del v by del rho okay whatever the change in velocity with respect to density it is not equal to zero okay because it is not constant sorry del rho by del t change in density with respect to time or change in density with respect to location x y z okay that is changing It is not constant. Then second type of flow is incompressible flow. So incompressible flow is the type of flow in which the density and hence volume. Okay, that means during the fluid flow, the volume of the liquid is always constant. Suppose inlet per one uh, liter of uh, uh, water uh, is flowing. Okay, yeah, enter होता है तो outlet पे हर दम one liter of water ही exit होगा. Okay, so the volume and hence the density. of the fluid flow is constant during the flow then the type of uh, flow is called as incompressible flow and basically all liquid flow are incompressible flow okay so liquids are uh, or liquid flow are generally incompressible incompressible in nature and gases flow are compressible in nature okay therefore for incompressible flow density is constant okay then next type of classification which we are going to see That is called as rotational and irrotational flow. Okay, so rotational flow is a type of flow in which the uh, fluid uh, particle, okay, uh, while traveling the uh, streamline, is uh, uh, also rotate about its own axis. That means, suppose you have a fluid particle, hai, okay, or you have a streamline. Streamline is nothing but it is an imaginary line along which the flow is going to take place. Okay. So, this fluid particle, eh, while traveling uh, along the streamline, it is also rotating about its own mass center. Okay. For example, Earth. Okay. Earth, Sun को revolve करता है और Earth, Sun को revolve करते time, Sun खुद के axis के along भी rotate होता है. Okay. So, 
suppose the fluid particle be, is behaving behaving in the same manner as earth behaves okay while traveling along its path so such type of flow is called as rotational flow so what is the definition in rotational flow the fluid particle while traveling along the streamline is also rotating about its own mass center okay so then that type of flow is called as rotational flow okay uh the example of rotational flow is you can take uh, some liquid in mixture uh, in mixture okay aapka jo mixer grinder hota hai na ghar pe aap mixer grinder lo okay and mixer grinder mein aap ek uh, water lo aur water mein ek uh, you can take one small plastic ball okay and start your mixer grinder so you will observe that the mixer grinder rotate ho raha hai so ye ball bhi usko rotate hoga okay बॉल जो है वो एक पर्टिकुलर रेडियस पे रोटेट होगा और जब वो रोटेट हो रहा है तो वो खुद से एक्सिस पे भी बॉल रोटेट होगा ओके सो दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ रोटेशनल फ्लो ओके एंड वाइस वर्सा इज इन रोटेशनल फ्लो सो इन इन रोटेशनल फ्लो द फ्लूड पार्टिकल वाइल ट्रेवलिंग अलॉन्ग द पाथ लाइन इट इज नॉट रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट्स ओन मास सेंटर ओके सो इफ इट इज नॉट रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट्स ओन मास सेंटर देन दैट टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉल्ड एज इ रोटेशनल फ्लो ओके एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए रोटेशनल फ्लो यू कैन टेक वन वॉश बेसिन आप एक वॉश बेसिन लो ओके वॉश बेसिन में आउटलेट पे एक हमें होल दिया होता है ओके तो आप क्या करोगे ये होल को ब्लॉक कर दोगे एंड फिल वाटर इसमें वाटर फिल करो वॉश बेसिन में एंड टेक वन प्लास्टिक बॉल ओके और उसके बाद में आपको क्या करना है इस ये जो ब्लॉकेज आपने किया था इसको ओपन कर देना है ओके तो यू विल ऑब्जर्व यहाँ पे वाटर जो है वो वॉल होते होते बाहर जाएगा ओके okay? जैसे वाटर वॉल होगा आपका जो प्लास्टिक बॉल है ये भी वॉल होगा बट ये प्लास्टिक बॉल जो वॉल होगा सो यू विल ऑब्जर्व वो सिर्फ वॉल हो रहा है मतलब गोल गोल घूम रहा है बट इट इज नॉट रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट फ्रॉम मास सेंटर ओके दैट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ये रोटेशनल फ्लो सो यू कैन परफॉर्म दिस टू एक्सपेरिमेंट एट होम ओके इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड रोटेशनल एंड इोटेशनल फ्लो ओके देन द लास्ट क्लासिफिकेशन इज वन डायमेंशनल टू डायमेंशनल एंड थ्री डायमेंशनल फ्लूड फ्लो ओके सो इफ एनी ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी सच एज वेलोसिटी ओके इट चेंजेस ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन ओके ड्यूरिंग द फ्लूड फ्लो ओके दैट मीन्स सपोज दिस इज योर फ्लूड फ्लो फ्लूड फ्लो इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन एक्स डायरेक्शन आपका फ्लूड फ्लो है ओके अब फ्लूड फ्लो में क्या हो रहा है कि वेलोसिटी इज फ्लूड पार्टिकल मूविंग इन एक्स डायरेक्शन ओके सो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है कि वेलोसिटी इज चेंजिंग इन एक्स डायरेक्शन बट इन वाइड डायरेक्शन एंड इन जेड डायरेक्शन वेलोसिटी इज कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो इफ वेलोसिटी चेंजेस ओनली इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एट इट इज नॉट चेंजिंग इन वाई इन जेड डायरेक्शन ओके सो सच टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉल्ड लाइक वन डायमेंशनल फ्लो सो इन वन डायमेंशनल फ्लो वॉट एवर द प्रॉपर्टी चेंजेस ओनली इन एक्स डायरेक्शन और एनी वन डायरेक्शन एक्स में कॉन्स्टेंट हो सकता है वाई में चेंज होगा ओके फिर एक्स और वाई में कॉन्स्टेंट हो सकता है जेड में चेंज होगा तो इफ द प्रॉपर्टी चेंजिंग ओनली अलॉन्ग वन डायरेक्शन एंड रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट इन रिमेन टू डायरेक्शन सो दैट टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉल्ड एज वन डायमेंशनल फ्लो एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन डायमेंशनल फ्लो इज फ्लो थ्रू पाइप अभी फ्लो थ्रू पाइप में क्या होता है कि एक्स डायरेक्शन में वेलोसिटी कॉन्स्टेंट रहता है मतलब सेंटर पे सारे फ्लूड पार्टिकल Direction is constant, so it 
whatever the change can be assumed negligible okay so for ma uh, mathematically u will change only in x direction and along y and z, uh, z direction that means small v and small w it will be zero okay here u v and w are component of velocity in x and z direction then two dimensional flow so in this case the velocity it will remain constant in only one direction it may, and it may change along remaining two direction okay in this case in this way the velocity is a function of time and two rectangular dimension x and y okay so for uh, two dimensional flow flow uh, the velocity will change along x and y direction and it may remain constant along z direction or vice versa it may change along x and z direction and remain constant along y direction okay so example of a two dimensional flow is flow between two parallel plates aapke jo two parallel plates hai suppose aapne koi bhi do parallel plates liye aur usme split flow hai beech mein so basically is case mein आपका जो वेलोसिटी होता है वो एक्स और वाई डायरेक्शन में चेंज होगा बस जेड डायरेक्शन में चेंज नहीं होगा ओके देन नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फ्लो नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फ्लूड क्लासिफिकेशन इज थ्री डायमेंशनल फ्लूड फ्लो ओके इन थ्री डायमेंशनल फ्लूड फ्लो ड्यूरिंग द फ्लूड फ्लो द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज सच एज वेलोसिटी प्रेशर डेंसिटी एक्सेट्रा इट मे चेंज अलॉन्ग ऑल द थ्री डायरेक्शन एक्स वाई जेड डायरेक्शन तीनों डायरेक्शन में जब फ्लो हो रहा है तो वेलोसिटी चेंज होगा तीनों डायरेक्शन में ओके तो दैट टाइप ऑफ फ्लो इज कॉल्ड एज थ्री डायमेंशनल फ्लूड फ्लो इन थ्री डायमेंशनल फ्लूड फ्लो यू विल बी यू इट इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी इन एक्स डायरेक्शन इट विल बी फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड वी विच इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी इन वाई डायरेक्शन बट इट मे वेरी और इट इट विल बी अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड ऑल द थ्री डायरेक्शन ओके and w which is a component of velocity in z direction so it will also depend on x y and x and y direction so it will be a function of all x y and z axis okay so this is a uh, uh, classification of fluid flow okay so again quickly we will revise okay so uh, the first classification is steady and unsteady fluid flow here definition ke liye aapko yaad ke apna time is criteria So, if any one of the properties, such as velocity, pressure, density, etc., does not change with respect to time, the fluid flow is called as steady fluid flow or steady flow. Okay. And if any one of the property changes with respect to time, then the flow is called as unsteady flow. Okay. Then next definition is uniform and non-uniform flow. So here, space is criteria. Your definition is space. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So if the uh, uh, if the fluid or if the velocity of the fluid particle changes with respect to space okay that means whatever the location then the type of flow is called as uniform flow so remember here mathematically uh, change in velocity per unit change in space okay that will be by del s so it will be zero okay for uniform flow and for non uniform flow it is a type of flow in which the velocity changes continuously changes with respect to location of Or okay, so there, therefore, here yeah, del b by del s is not equal to zero. Then the next classification is based on behavior of fluid particle. So based on behavior of fluid particle, uh, the flow are uh, the flow is classified as laminar and turbulent flow. So if the fluid particle behaves in systematic manner, okay, uh, during the fluid flow, each fluid particle uh, travels along a straight path or along a streamline. okay and they do not process each other okay uh, then the flow will take place in number of laminar or sheet gliding over each other and such type of flow is called as laminar flow okay by vice versa turbulent flow so turbulent flow is a type of unsystematic fluid flow in which the fluid particle are continuously crossing uh, the path of each other okay uh, here some uh, fluid particle is traveling in zigzag way and eddies and cross currents are formed okay so such type of flow is called as turbulent flow so example we have seen laminar flow ka example flow of blood through uh, veins human veins and turbulent flow flow of river flow of air or in uh, atmosphere okay the next is compressible and incompressible flow here the aapko definition yaad rakhne ke liye density yaad rakhna hai density as criteria so if Uh, during the flow, the volume and hence density of the fluid does not change with respect to time. Then the type of flow is incompressible flow. And if 
fluid during the fluid flow uh, the density and hence the volume of the fluid changes with uh, respect to uh, space or uh, time then the type of flow is called as compressible flow the next is rotational and irrotational flow okay so here rotation of the fluid particle it is criteria okay so remember uh, rotational flow is a type of flow in which the fluid particle due, uh, while traveling along the uh, flow path or along the streamline it is rotating about its own mass center then it is called as rotational flow okay and if the fluid particle while uh, flowing along the direction of uh, uh, on uh, while traveling along the flow path it is not rotating about its own mass center then the type of flow is irrotational flow the next is 1d 2d and 3d flow so if the fluid particle or if the velocity of the fluid particle changes only along one direction and remain constant along the remaining two direction the flow is one dimensional flow if the velocity of the fluid particle changes along two direction but remain constant along third direction okay then the type of flow is 2d flow and if during the fluid flow the velocity or any other property changes continuously along all the three direction the type of flow is three dimensional fluid flow 